Today we're going to look at the PVT monitoring strategy found in the Atlas Copco Power Focus 4000. In some joints, such as joints with lock nuts or other fasteners with built-in prevailing torque, we need to ensure that there is a consistent level of prevailing torque to generate the right amount of clamp load in the joint. To do that, we are able to utilize the Power Focus 4000 PVT monitoring strategy, which will shut the tool off if an incorrect level of prevailing torque is seen. This prevents us from potentially under-torquing a fastener or from damaging a part by over-torquing it. When programming PVT monitoring, an angle window is set. This window determines the point during the fastening that the prevailing torque will be monitored. A min and max torque for the monitor window is then set. If the average of the prevailing torque seen during the monitor interval is outside the acceptable window, the tool will immediately shut off and the PF4000 will return a PVT monitoring failure. In this example, screws are being driven into a plastic test block. There are three different hole sizes, which create three different levels of prevailing torque. When running a screw into the standard size hole, we get a good fastening and green lights. When the screw is run into a larger hole, our prevailing torque drops below the PVT monitoring minimum limit. The tool shuts off and we receive a not okay result. Finally, running the screw into a smaller hole gives us prevailing torque above the PVT monitoring maximum limit, and we again receive a not okay result. 